It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas all over Houston, and one home in the Westbury neighborhood should look a lot like this. But tonight, the home is dark because of some holiday Grinches. Channel 2 Sion Rhodes is joining us live now from Westbury tonight. And Sion, these thieves nearly hurt somebody. They did, Dominique, and these lights, star shower laser lights, very popular right now. They are basically sold out in stores, and that's making them a prime target for thieves. They are the must have decorations of the season. Introducing Star Shower Laser Lights, the easiest way to light up your entire home. Well, there would be like one over here, here, and here, and there were like one facing this way, this way, and this way, so they covered the whole house. The Eastmans had them at their Westbury home. Well, it was covered in red and green dots, and it looked cool. Until yesterday, when thieves stole them from the family's front yard. Fellow ran out of the back of the car and uh, the suburban and grabbed their Christmas ornaments, the, the lights that spray up onto the house, and in and out they were gone in five seconds. Neighbor Jim Young saw what was going on and crossed the street trying to get a license plate as the thieves sped off. If they had gone to the left, they would have hit me, but they luckily turned to the right <laughs> for my sake. I think that's not very nice for people to steal things. I just wish that there weren't even a such thing as bad guys. For the Eastman's young daughters, it's a real life lesson that not everyone is in the Christmas spirit. It was very Grinch like. We're hoping that the Grinch maybe grows a heart and brings them back, right? Yeah. Give them back, Manny. You shouldn't even steal stuff. And a lot of people like these lights because they are so easy to install. But keep in mind, if you're purchasing them, purchasing them, that means they are also easy for someone to come by and take. The Precinct 5 Constable's Office is investigating this case. Live in Westbury, Sion Rhodes, KPRC Channel 2 News.